Um, so I'm Athanasios Papakostadinou, a postdoc in the Energy Analytics and Markets Group, and I will be talking about my research, which is uh, how to fit probabilistic offers in electricity markets and how to use this uncertainty to go from uncertainty to accountability. Um, electricity markets have been so far designed with a heavy focus on conventional power generators. Uh, producers uh, participate by bidding their marginal costs, which uh, depend on uh, the price of the fuels in essence. And uh, they are ranked from the cheapest one to the most expensive one. Um, with uh, clearing the, the, the price of electricity being determined at uh, the intersection of the supply and the demand. Uh, this uh, has been working fairly well when we only have uh, a few renewable sources in the bottom of the, uh, this ranking, which by the way it's called merit order. Uh, but this is not going to be the case as the uh, uh, renewable sources increase in power systems and for example in Denmark it's going to be 50% by 2020 and 100% uh, by 2050. Um, in this case we, there, we expect what we will have a problem because then we will have a, a lot of uh, stochastic renewable sources gathered at the bottom of the merit order uh, diagram. This is the challenge uh, we're trying to address with this research which can be divided, defined by three blocks. First, we have uh, probabilistic offers. We know that uh, stochastic uh, renewable sources think uh, probabilistically in terms that they generate forecasts, um, but what we want them to do is act also uh, probabilistic, and that is report those offers. Uh, this will allow for uh, uh, accountability, for uncertainty, that is we will be able to evaluate them based on the quality of these forecasts, but uh, this will call for uh, a new market design which be able to uh, include this uh, forecast at its core. Um, so we have to move from point forecasts to probabilistic offers such as quantiles, intervals and uh, uh, density functions. And we know that um, uh, we expect actually that uh, uh, using probabilistic offers can contribute to a more efficient elect electricity markets and more robust power systems for example, the market operators can calculate the day ahead scheduling based on the expected real-time uh, outcomes and the TSOs will be able to uh, use this information to plan better, to plan better ahead. Uh, what we have shown so far in our research is that current market setups such as uh, two-price uh, real-time market combined with day ahead uh, market can accommodate uh, probabilistic offers and we, we have shown that um, the revenues for the stochastic producers can be equivalent uh, between the conventional market and a uh, more advanced market which uses um, uh, side payments which include this probabilistic information. However, uh, the traditional problem or the very old problem on what to do with these uh, probabilistic offers remains uh, in our case also. Because for example we may uh, acquire after this uh, in these setups uh, probabilistic offers of low quality. And this is a specific example, and that's the example that we've been using in this research. And let's assume that we have a beta distribution which uh, defines the wind power production uh, for one uh, producer. And that's given by the black line here. And we introduce um, some low quality, let's say, where we have uh, overestimation of the mean, the green line, which signifies a 40%, a 60% overestimation of the mean and uh, underestimation, which is 40% uh, 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 below. So these uh, red and green distributions are the same with the black distribution, only there is a, a difference in their mean. We can see that, of course, all the means are different, but also the structure of the di distribution is very different. So if we start using these uh, red and green distributions to describe and to build a market upon them, then uh, we will ac actually achieve the opposite of the result we are aiming for, that is we will achieve an inefficient and certainly not robust market. That's why uh, we, proposed, we proposed to introduce a kind of penalty uh, for uncertainty for, uh, the, uh, of the stochastic producers and the basic idea here is to upset the merit order based on an accuracy metric which, is, uh, which depends on the distance between the forecast and actual distribution. So here, with respect to our um, initial um, uh, example, we can see what happens with 0.4 mean uh, underestimating and overestimating the mean. So what happens here is that the wind power producer actually changes one step, so he moves above one of the conventional generators. Um, 
as a penalty for the forecast of low quality he supplied in the system. Uh, the, this uh, could have some impact on the operation cost and the social welfare of the system. So these are our uh, uh, results in summary for this work. So the red line is uh, the operation cost for the, for the conventional model where we have uh, independent trading floors, independent day ahead and real time markets. While on the right we have the state of the art and on the left, oh no. Yeah, on the left we have the state of the art and on the right we have our approach. Um, uh, which is based on a stochastic optimization of the bi-level programming. The ex-post case study signifies that we are using the day ahead uh, schedule based on how it's calculated from the stochastic model while we have a Monte Carlo simulation of uh, real-time production while the ex-ante approach is a full stochastic model with uh, day ahead scheduling and uh, balancing uh, on real-time on expectation. So we can see that uh, our ex-post approach cuts operation costs when we have uh, overestimating, so that's that side here. And what it does in essence is that it kicks out uh, the um, uh, wind power producer from the merit order because he's uh, overestimating, so he's not precise, he's not accurate. And that actually saves us a lot of money because the system does not have to rely on load shedding. Um, for the Exante approach, which is a full stochastic one, as I mentioned before, our approach fixes, kind of improves the stochastic model because now the, it's closer to the ex post and that is what would happen. Um, finally, what we want to do to progress and to move forward on this research is to try to update the marginal costs based on a new metric that would combine both um, a certain uh, accuracy and precision, and precision because we ha have shown so far the difference in the distributions when we have like a uh, different estimation of the mean, but here is what happens when we have a different estimation of the variance. We and what we have identified as a big problem based on the previous research is how to define this metric which moves um, the wind power producer in the merit order definition. And uh, by uh, having access to these probabilistic offers in the, in the early stage of the day ahead market, we can use it to scale it while on based on the expectation of real-time outcome and then recalculate the whole system. Thank you for your attention.